New at five, NASA space collectibles going to the highest bidder. More than 2,000 photographs and rare artifacts are being offered right now in a two-day auction hosted by the American Space Museum. News 6 investigator Mike Holfeld shows us some of the best on the list. That's one small step for man. Before those famous words slowly crackled through the heavens onto America's TV screens, one giant leap for mankind. NASA's space program was building an archive of photographs and artifacts taken for granted in the moment. A rarity, this photograph? Now, half a century later... It's the only one I've ever seen. ...a collector's holy grail. This photo was taken during training, was released the day before the fire. Chuck Jeffrey, collections analyst for the American Space Museum in Titusville, visited News 6 to provide an exclusive auction preview, including this chilling black and white of the ill-fated Apollo 1 crew of White, Chaffee, and Grissom. And they're in their full flight suits, you know, it's a full dress rehearsal for the mission. The photo, expected to go for three to five hundred dollars, is one of an estimated two thousand original NASA photographs that hit the auction block Friday. This piece should be in the three to five thousand dollar range. Boy, and the autographs are pristine, too. As we first reported, the museum has gathered hundreds of rare items for the two-day event. Boy, that's fantastic. From how-to guides... How to fly the Apollo 14 rocket to the moon, basically. To Grumman's 1970 concept model to power a space shuttle through gravity's grasp. And their idea was to launch the space shuttle on the first stage of a Saturn V moon rocket. Expected auction price? Seven to eight thousand dollars. This is the real thing. But the runaway star of the show is the lunar overshoe. The very first flight item lunar overshoe ever produced. The exact design that left the now famous first step on the moon. That's one small step for man. It is the exact same print left by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin on the lunar surface. The overshoe is expected to fetch a cool eighty thousand dollars or more at auction. Start your bidding. One giant leap for mankind. Getting results, Mike Hofeld. Oh, boy, they have me saying it twice, my name. <laughs> you know, I just, because <laughs> I didn't think I was going to be out here, but look, the uh, auction's been incredible. I just checked the website. The rare Apollo 1 photo sold for $350. And listen to this, an original NASA 70-millimeter Hasselblad color positives of the lunar surface. Unbelievable. 2100 bucks. There are hundreds still available, a lot of the photos, and they're going to take bids, I think, until 8 o'clock. Wow. Unless everything goes, but it, it's going it great. Be, yeah. yeah, it sounds like it's going to be gone before 8 yeah, o'clock. Yeah. Okay, so we saw some incredible stuff in that piece right there. Yeah. The thing that really caught my eye, that we call it a moon boot, but that, moon, that overshoe. overshoe, how I much know. is that going to go for, and when will that be up for bids? That's going to be, I, I think it's going to go for 80000 yeah. 100000 wow. starting at 9 a.m. tomorrow, folks. The moon overshoe is one of my favorites. Before I came out here, I saw the opening bid, 19000 But as Chuck Jeffrey always likes to say to me, Mike, the sky hmm. is the limit. Well, I was thinking Ginger's birthday is coming up, but that's yes. a little out of my price range. <laughs> me just too. Just slightly. Maybe some different shoes for or, you. Or a picture yeah. of it. Well, no. <laughs> there you well, go. Maybe you guys can just pool your resources oh. together and make that overshoe happen. Ooh. That's fantastic, though. Yeah, yes. it's a, it was a lot of fun, and I think everyone will enjoy Go to the website, go to Click Orlando, and enjoy it. Yeah, we'll yeah. check it out. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Mike. My pleasure.